welcome. Um. Make it quick. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um. By the way, What the? Why so surprised? This is just one of the countless techniques you don't know about. But on the subject, I would have expected Raoul to try something more devious. I'm surprised he's playing this one so by the book. It can only mean that he's cornered. Heiss. You're here for that confidential letter. The one proving Hugo conspired with the enemy commander to leak Rasha's movements. Isn't that right? I regret to inform you that said document is in my possession as of now. <sighs> That's the look I've been waiting for. I'll let you have this on one condition. Come work under me again. If you do that, this is yours. Why me? I'll throw in the answer to that question as well to sweeten the deal if you accept my terms. All right. A wise decision. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> you really are an intriguing one. <laughs> That's it, my boy. Take up your sword to change your destiny. Fight. Change this history with the power of your hatred. <clears throat> I won't lose. learned a few tricks. Even more interesting. Is that all you can do, Stock? He's strong. So this is what Heiss is really capable of. Hey! This way! Unwanted visitors. They always ruin things. <clears throat> What? I'm taking this document. He mastered that technique after seeing it in only one battle. <sighs> That's my boy. That's what I expect from a true wielder of the White Chronicle. What are you up to, sneaking into my office like this? Nothing at all. There was just a rat I was trying to get rid of. A rat? 
A rather slippery one, alas. He got away. That's impossible! How could you have let him escape? Hmm. Don't you think the fault is yours? Leave around cheese and you can expect rats. He completed his objective with flying colors. Cheese? No. That document! You really ought to destroy that sort of thing immediately. If you keep it around forever, this is what happens. It was evidence of our treaty. I couldn't destroy it until they kept their end of the bargain. That's why it was written in a cipher. Ah, so you were thinking ahead. But that doesn't change the fact that they have their eye on you. I'm sure you already know who started this mess. It won't be easy to clean up. You don't have to tell me twice. Seal the city at once. Don't let this rat escape. And assign someone to keep an eye on Lieutenant General Raoul. <clears throat> However... Are you questioning my orders? Understood. Well, I'll be on my way. I assume you'd rather be alone with all the thinking you have to do. Hmm. Now what do you suppose Stock's next move will be? I can't wait to see what he does with that power now that he's awakened. Listen here. Forgive me, Raj. Your gauntlet is... Who, who's there? Something urgent's come up. Stock, what's going on? Was Rosh's operation successful? Yes. I saved him, but... I couldn't save his gauntlet. Sonia. I'm sorry. We'll talk later. I don't have the time now. I need to take Rosh and leave, immediately. What are you saying? Rosh is in no condition to be moved. If you take him out of here... If we don't, he'll be killed. <laughs> what in the world is going on? Look at this. This is... It's a written order for the ambush of Rosh's brigade. A Granargite soldier had it. My god. Someone set a trap for Rosh? Hugo, most likely. I'm going on the assumption that the entire army is our enemy. That's why I need your help. They'll certainly be here soon. Sonia! I understand. I'll get him ready to leave. All right. Time to go. Yes. Let's hurry and get out of the city before they find us. I can take him from here. You need to stay in Alistair. No. I'm the only one who can treat Rosh right now. I'm coming, and that's final. It'll be difficult. Nothing could be harder than being separated from you and Rosh. It's all right. I'm prepared for whatever we'll face. All right, then.
Do you have an idea of where we should go? I'll reach out to Field Marshal Viola at the Sand Fortress. She may be sympathetic. The Sand Fortress? Out of the question. Rosh would never survive the journey. He's in a very delicate state right now. We need to let him rest, if only a little bit. You're right. For now, we only need to slip past our pursuers. Let's head south. Okay. Sonia, take Rosh and go on ahead. I'll deal with our pursuers. By yourself? Stop, don't be absurd. I defied the man who controls Alistel. I'd have to be a little absurd to survive that. Am I wrong? But... Don't worry. I won't let them lay a finger on you or Rosh. Now go. All right. There they are! Sonia, go! I'm going! I won't lose. Yeah. 
it's finally over. That should be... Let's rest for a while over there. Hang in there, Raj. I know Stock will help us. That's right. I need to get to Sonia and... There he is! Over there! That must be the guy the lady we helped was talking about. Don't get too close. Blonde hair and red clothes. He does seem to be the one. Hurry! We need to help him! He's hurt real bad. Calm down! Did he face off against all these enemies by himself? Hurry! I will. But are you sure about this? About what? About bringing outsiders, especially humans, into Celestia. We can't just leave somebody who's hurt like this. And... And what? There's something creepy around. I want to hurry and go home. Hmm. If you say so, then we'll hurry back. What is it? Now that I see him up close, he looks really cool. Is that why you were so bent on saving him? Are you all right, Stock? I'm still alive, it seems. Somehow, yes. You don't shy away from pushing your limits, do you? What about Rosh and Sonia? Are they safe? You will discover that for yourself once you wake up. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? on a new artifact. Ready for your next assignment? This time, you're taking a trip to the Grand Plain. Alistil and Granorg are both marching their armies there. I'm getting an artifact reading from the battlefield. Sounds serious. Well, be careful on your way. You know, I heard that Fennel has gone out on the battlefield himself this time. Whoa, really? Why? I don't know the details, but a number of thaw machines have been deployed. Might be related. We have an emergency! What? That's pretty bad, isn't it? Come. We should go look into this firsthand.
Enough! What a mess. We haven't even touched Granork yet. What should we do, Stock? Fennel is the one who knows all about these thaw machines. If anyone can fix this problem, it's him. We should hurry. Sir! Oh. <laughs> Fennel, we need to talk. If you can't get your thaw machines under control, we'll be... Dick! Hey, uh, doesn't this guy sound kind of busted? Sure seems like it. That was nothing but strange noises. Wait, did he go berserk like those thaw machines? He has a mechanical body, too. Oh. What now? Why don't we smack him? That's how I always fix stuff. Hmm, considering his body, Maybe there's an emergency shutdown switch somewhere. Well, I guess a nice whack won't hurt. And who knows, it might even help. Yeah, it's worth a try. Give him a hard one. Well, if you two say so, maybe it'll work after all. Hello? Did... did it work? Fennel? Hmm, I see. So that's how it is. How do you feel? Can you hear me? Ah, yes. I just had a moment of enlightenment. Not sure what he means by that, but looks like he's back to normal. <laughs> I can sense the thaw machines. It's as if they were my own limbs. <laughs> With this, to crank up their power even more. <laughs> it's tinkering time. <laughs> Let it be known that my skills are the best in Alistel. No, the entire world. Go, my thaw machines. <laughs> Welcome back, Stock. Who could have known a simple smack would hasten the desertification? I think you were just unlucky. There should be other paths you could have taken. Lest you forget, these worlds are connected. Major events in another can influence your own. Please don't lose hope, Stock. We believe in you. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? Fennel, I need you to listen to me. Where on your body is the emergency shutdown?
what should we do? What do you make of that soldier? He Fennel, can I bother you for a second? I'm interested in the mechanization of your body. What do you do if it malfunctions? Does it malfunction? It's possible, but rare. Always perform regular maintenance, and it won't be a problem. But hypothetically speaking, what happens if the machine starts acting up? Well, were that the case, I would need to perform a reboot. And how do you do that? Huh! I can't just tell you that. It's highly classified information. If you want to know that badly, I'll give you a body like mine. Then you can see for yourself. Um, I think I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, sorry to have taken your time. Yes. Indeed. That would be much appreciated. Indeed. In the event of an emergency, I've placed a certain something in the medical office. I can't just leave it lying around, so I've hidden it with Thaumatech. It'd be absolutely impossible for a petty thief to find. Magnificent means of protecting confidential material, wouldn't you say? Ah. <sighs> what he was talking about? Hmm. There's something written on this paper. If I'm remembering right, the manual said to access a panel on the back of his head to reboot. Ah, here it is. All I need to do now is enter the right code. I think it's... um... Should do it. Self destruct code received. Self destruct? What would he ever need a self destruct function for? Every machine has a kill switch of some kind. This can't be happening. All personnel, please evacuate immediately. Uh, guys, quit blabbering. We gotta get out of here. No, 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 no. 
Hello. I beg your pardon? I don't know. Rebooting isn't working. Get over there. I beg your pardon? Welcome back, Stock. It appears the machine man known as Fennel is vital to Alistel's survival. Even your idle curiosity can change the world. Impressive. Why did he build himself with a self-destruct function, though? Every machine has a kill switch of some kind. You have to be kidding me. Please do not lose hope, Stock. We pray that you will find the proper path soon. Just in case, do you want to record your action? Should do the trick. Whew. I'm saved. Oh, losing control of myself was troubling, to say the least. What was it that caused you to go haywire? Well, I attempted to integrate this mystical object into my operating system. I believed it would allow me to control multiple thaw machines at the same time. Uh, but it appears that was a miscalculation. You could have killed someone, you know. Here, I'll be holding on to that from now on. I'm done with it anyway. Yeah. Ah, perhaps if I scale down that sensation, I may effectively use the thaw machines to do my bidding. Off he goes, mumbling to himself. Is he going to experiment again with what he's learned today? Jeez, all that trouble and he hasn't changed a bit. Well, the thaw machines seem to have calmed down, so at least this case is closed. Mark and I should go see if anyone's hurt. You okay with that, Stock? Of course. Welcome aboard, Stock. I trust you've got something for me? I do. Here you go. A plus. Thank you, Stock. Oh, you look fired up this time. Which project are you tackling? Ready for your next assignment? For the next possible world, you'll be headed to Grand Plain. I got a strong reading from outside the Sand Fortress. Unfortunately, the fortress is currently a combat zone, and the Alistelian troops are in a real pinch. Perhaps the artifact there shifted the tides of battle. I'd warn you to prepare for a fight, but you're always ready. Right. I'll handle it.
Hey, where's Kiel? Huh? I thought I told you before he took off. He deployed to the western side of the Grand Plain. He's marching with Field Marshal Viola's squad. Ah, right. Sorry, it must have slipped my mind. He looks super fired up, too. Maybe he wants to show off in front of the Field Marshal. He's a little too fired up, if you ask me. <laughs> What's that ruckus outside? Captain! What? But that's impossible. Hang in there, soldier. Someone call a medic. Yes. The field marshal and her squad are in danger. We should send aid to Grand Plain at once. Right. We need to form a team and get back up to her ASAP. You're coming too, Stock. Let up. Yeah. Hit. Hit. Uh. 
Whew. It's over. 